A couple of weeks ago, Rhea redid this lane chest here, and she did a fantastic job. It was quite, quite a sorry statement when we got it. When our one problem with all these old lane chests, anything before 1987, it doesn't have a child safety lock. So what that means, when you open this chest, and what could happen, a child could be playing, could be playing hide and seek, they go inside, they close the lid, and now this is locked. There's no way they can get out safely. So any chest that was made before 1987, you can get in touch with Lane and I'll put the link down in the description and you can get a new replacement lock for free. And they also send a key with that lock. So if you've lost your key and it wasn't a child safety lock, it's a great way to get a new key too. The serial number for your Lane chest is either gonna be inside the lid or it may be on the bottom, it may be on the back. If you read the serial number backwards, it actually tells you what year it was made. This particular one was from 1954, so obviously the original lock was never a child safety lock. So about four weeks ago, we had popped on the website and entered the details and we got this package in the mail yesterday. So let's see what we got. Okay, so it's a lock set rectangle. That's the one question when you do this on the Lane website, you have to be able to recognize the type of lock you have, but they have some helpful pictures. It's either gonna be a rectangle or kind of a, an oval style. So what we have here, we have the lock mechanism. We have a couple of keys and we have a strike plate with some adjustment and some screws. So as far as tools go, I think all we need is a simple screwdriver. Okay, as we have a rectangular lock to change, this is just what we're looking like on the back. It's just simply three screws and it's the exact same size as what's in here. So I'm gonna take these three out and we'll put this in. We'll see how it looks. So this one being from 1954, we've got flat head screws in here. The new one comes with Phillips heads. So you may need two screwdrivers depending on the age of your cedar chest. These are quite small screws, so this screwdriver may be a touch on the large size. Okay, easy as that, that's three screws out. We'll just pop it from the front. Okay, and that's our old one removed. These screws are going in a little harder than the other ones came out, so they might be a fraction larger. But when you're changing screws from older pieces, sometimes going just a touch bigger makes it a little easier on you. Just that hole's not so worn out. Okay, so that's the lock set changed. We'll now go ahead and we'll change out the strike plate. Okay, so that came off easy. And then we'll get a new one. Same hole configuration. So you obviously you can't put it the wrong way up. These screws are significantly shorter than what was removed, but I don't really foresee that being a problem. They're still tightening down quite nicely. Okay. We'll remove one of our keys, just so we have it handy. Okay, so now our new child safety lock's on. It's slightly confusing, but it's been well designed, so no accidents can occur. So we put our key in, we have two different modes. When the key's to the, to the left, the counterclockwise, it cannot be locked under any circumstances. So this, this can freely shut, and there's no way this will lock. If you choose to lock it, you put your key in, and you turn it clockwise, you hold the button in as you bring the lid down. Once it's down, you release the button, turn your key counterclockwise, and now it's locked. So that way, if you don't have the key and you don't know how to use the lock, there's no way you can lock it. it just means no accidents will occur. If you wanted to take this to the next level of childproofing it, it'd be good to get some safety hinges on the side. While you can't get, have a kid locked in here, you can still you can still crush some fingers. I'll put a link to some safety hinges in the description below and that'll just make this close softly too. I hope you found the video useful. I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button. It helps this spread. It's a child safety video, so it is important a lot of people see it. If you enjoy furniture content, I'll put the link up for this video. You can check it out. And if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be great too.